Let's talk quick about maximizing your results with triggers. Now the more advanced shopping cart systems, which they're all moving in this direction, now allow you to set up tags. Typically they call them tags where you can tag an email subscriber when they do something. When they've opened a certain email or they click the link in a certain email or, you know, of course if someone bought something, but you can tag that user and then you can do sequences, controls, behavioral triggering based on what someone did. So for example, you could create an email that will only go out to all the people that opened a certain email before. And if anyone didn't open that certain email or didn't click on the link to go watch that video, then you don't send them that email. The system won't send it to them. So we're evolving marketing with technology in such a way where we can really increase the results that our marketing produces, that response produces every step of the way by doing things based on what our audience or what the users do as they interact with our marketing. Opening emails, clicking links, buying things, watching videos, do, downloading this, doing that. And we can find ways to maximize the money that we make based on how these events are happening. So here's a way, if you want, to get an instant boost in your revenue. You can send the same email to anyone that didn't open an original email within 48 hours. So if you send out a promotion email for one of your products that's coming out or a sale that you're doing, and if your shopping cart or email marketing system allows it, look at all the people that haven't opened the email. And, and by the way, opens are tracked typically with HTML emails. They, they use like a little pixel or a graphic that loads. And when it loads, from the, user's, from the user loading it, that tells the server that they opened it or there wouldn't have been a call to load that image. So they, they know that someone opened an email that way if you were curious. But you can send a follow-up, send the same email again to anyone that didn't open it the first time 48 hours before. If they didn't open it after a couple of days, they're probably not going to open it. So they're not going to check into their email two or three weeks from now and happen to find your email that you sent two or three weeks ago and click on emails. It does happen, but it's, it's rare. People get such a flow of emails coming into their inbox every day that once they get past a few days, they don't go back and look through their emails. They just don't. So you can follow up with non-clickers. So you can follow up with non people that don't open or people that don't click. So if you have something that you sent out where you're trying to get people to click on a link to check out a video or to check out some kind of special offer that's being detailed on a page that you're talking about, and you see that people open the email but they don't click the link to go check out the video, let's say, well, you can send another email to just those people that didn't click and you can describe the thing in a different way or you can try to market getting them clicking the link in a different way to get more clickers. So you could certainly just send a follow-up email a week later. That's the exact same email that they opened before and try and just get them to click. But usually if they've opened it, it's good to send them kind of a different email, but with the same end result in mind, trying to get them to click. Now this is critical. You want to remove your buyers from any prospect sequence and from any launch campaigns once they buy. There's nothing more annoying, and you've probably experienced this online. Let's say you see an email campaign or a product launch or something, and you're like, ooh, I really want this, and you actually go and buy the thing. You buy the product, you buy the, the service, but then you keep getting this, the emails promoting the launch or promoting the sale. Only three days left, only two days left. Hey, here's 10 reasons why you really need to buy this. And you're thinking, well, I already bought this. Why do they keep emailing me this? Well, they keep emailing you because they have bad marketing. <laughs> so with all these new systems now, you can actually set it up and automate it where as soon as a email address on your list buys, they get tagged with the buyer tag for that product. And they're no longer going to receive any outgoing emails for that campaign that are promoting the thing for sale because there's no reason to that buyer already bought they don't need to keep getting hit with these emails trying to tell them to go buy so it's critical that you remove your buyers otherwise they'll unsubscribe and you won't be able to communicate with your buyers anymore and your buyers are the most valuable people on your list because they're the most likely to buy again from you when you release something else so 
it's very critical that you remove your buyers from your prospect sequences or any kind of launch or sale campaign once they buy. Get them out of that sequence. Get them off that, you know, put them on a sub list. Get them, get them out of there so they don't keep re receiving the promotional emails.